All right, everybody, we're talking about 3D layers. We're gonna keep it pretty simple today, but we're gonna just do some basic things to get you started with 3D. So After Effects is not a true 3D program like Cinema 4D or Blender or anything like that, but you can do some really cool stuff with it still. So first what we're gonna do is we have this composition and what we're gonna basically do today. So first we're gonna take all of our layers and set them to 3D with this button right here. So now they're all 3D and next we're gonna make a camera. So go to layer, new and camera or you can hit control alt shift C which is what I will do because keybinds are awesome. I love two node cameras and I love using the 50 millimeter preset. So let's just go with that for now. And we're gonna basically hit C on our keyboard and we can view around using the unified camera tool and we can see that we're kind of working in this 3D world. So that's pretty cool, but everything's looking pretty flat right now. So let's do the next part of a 3D layer. Control Alt Shift L on your keyboard and that will make a light. All right, let's move that up. Maybe move it back just a little bit. It's being a little funky and weird. Everything's accepting lights. Let's go to the point light settings, hit AA, aha. So after we create a light, we can just hit AA on our keyboard and we can fuss with some of these camera settings to really just like make things brighter or darker with the intensity, change the radius or the fall off, cast shadows, etc. We're not gonna get into anything too crazy today. Let's just increase the intensity of that so it's brighter, we can see things, and then with the camera, we can move around just fine. Now, uh, what we can also do is we can take all these layers and move them in Z space. So let's take this background, hit P on our keyboard, and we see this third property on the position property, we can push that back into 3D space and scale that way up, bam. So now when we move around our camera, we got this one plane where the text is living, and then we have this other plane where the background is living. Now, we, what we can also do is we can, let's just make a shape layer, let's make a, let's make a hexagon. So we'll, Select our shape tool, then hold Alt and then up arrow on your keyboard, and that will allow you to change the number of slides while you're holding down the mouse button. So now I have a hexagon. Let's set that to a 3D layer and then add a stroke. Get rid of that fill by holding Alt and then clicking on that, uh, that color. And then let's just bring this closer to the camera. Ba -ba -ba. And then let's just have you not accept lights for now. So just, just for the purpose of this example, now I can move around and we can see that the foreground of this composition is that hexagon. Let's make another one if we wanted to. Oh, totally misclicked. Oh, misclicked. Where am I going? Aha, I definitely used my mouse a little too fast there. So let's duplicate another one of these guys and move him around and move him back. Maybe rotate him, hit W on the keyboard for the rotation tool, and then go back and animate this camera. That's pretty cool. You know what, let's add an animation. We'll go into our P position properties, add a keyframe, then move forward to say eight seconds, and then just add another like really subtle movement and then we can see this cool kind of movement there. So yeah, now you have 3D, 2.5D layer things. And then one more thing I wanna show you, you can also add some depth of field. So if you hit AA with your camera selected, you can see this depth of field option. Bam, turn it on, and then let's just crank up that aperture so it, it's blurry, it's super blurry. Now what's really cool about 3D layers and After Effects and their cameras is you can focus on things. So let's say at frame one, we wanna focus on this hexagon in the foreground. So we can select that camera and this first shape layer and go to layer, camera, set focus distance to layer and it will 
do that. Now, if we go to our camera, hit AA, focus distance, keyframe that, and then we go to frame, let's just say five, for example, and then we select our camera, and then our, let's just say our bullet text, camera, set focus distance to layer, and then if we'll see, it just added a new keyframe for us. Now we can scrub through, it's gonna rack focus for us. So that's a really cool feature that we have, but it is slower now. So if you ever need to do stuff like this in After Effects, but you have a really tight deadline or you just have to work fast, you can select this button right here, Draft 3D, and it will turn off and disable your shadows, your lights, and your depth of field so that you can just get the camera movement, get the basics of everything down, and then you can turn on things again when you're about to hit that render button. So that's some very basic 3D stuff just to show you how you can navigate the timeline. We'll talk about some more advanced stuff in another video. I highly recommend checking out my five cinematic camera movements in After Effects. It will go more in depth on how you can do some cool animations with your camera. But I hope this helped. Just turning on that 3D layer will just make your animation feel super cool and virtual and all that fun stuff. All right, that's today's quick tip. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Like if you learned something, and if you need more help, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Again, my name is John Jagsney. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my face because you're not getting it back, so I hope it was worth it. And I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You will make some gains, I promise. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Where's my lens cap? Bye. Put the place up.